Now it's time to shift our focus to other developments. The Indian Space Research Organization is all geared up for its 101 launch with the PSLV C-16E0509 mission, which is scheduled to be launched on the 18th of May at 5.59 a.m. from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. This is one of the heaviest satellites developed by the team and weighs around 1700 kilograms. All the payloads were moved from the integration uh, facility to the mobile tower, uh, mobile service towers for the integration ahead of the launch and it marks the growth of countries uh, in the space arena as it helped the national security and crucial infrastructure as well. Now viewers, it is a very important mission. ISRO's 101 launch of the PSLV C-16 E-0509 mission is going to be a very crucial one to monitor. Group Captain V N Jha, who is a farm, former IOF officer, joins me live on the broadcast. Sir, India's uh, space prowess is also being now telecasted on another platform. And uh, this is coming at a time uh, when, in fact, just a uh, few time, few uh, few days earlier, the ISRO and JAXA, the space agency of Japan, have jointly conducted the third face-to-face -face technical interference meeting, the TIM for Chandrayaan-5. What exactly now the launch of India's key PSLV, uh, this mission, uh, is going to look like for more prowess and development in the space sector? Simran, and uh, I must compliment your. Uh, a channel for repeatedly uh, focusing the attention of Indian technological might in the space. It's really praiseworthy. Thank you very much. Look, this uh, launch of uh, EOS Earth Observation Satellite 9 has been overdue. And this satellite, as you uh, clearly mentioned, is the heaviest uh, of the lot. Uh, it, it carries a lot of uh, extra uh, tasks into it. We already have many of the other satellites, uh, Earth observation satellites, which are mapping the Earth in various forms, whether it is the radar imaging satellites, whether it is the cartographic satellites. And uh, these, some of these satellites uh, also have uh, some of the military applications uh, that are required requirement of the day. Uh, this will be replacing the earlier sent uh, satellite, Resat-1. Resat is the uh, radar imaging of sat satellite. They are called RESAT. RESAT-1 is already there. Uh, it has performed its work. It is to be replaced now. So that is where uh, Earth observation satellite, the present one, will be uh, injected. Now this satellite is slightly different from the others in the, that it has got a better resolution of the Earth. It is both day and night satellite. Uh, it will be the one which is collecting and collating all the data of other satellites also procured. That means it is a, a master of the communications of the series of the satellite, whether it is the CartoSat, whether it is the ReSat, some of the uh, Earth observations as well. So it will be collating all those data and giving to us. Implications are, uh, I may just take you back to those days of surgical strike when our uh, uh, RESAT, uh, RESAT 2 especially, was so useful in pinpointing the place where the terrorists uh, were hiding so that Indian Army could strike it at, at, at will. So similar performance will be in the future too because uh, it is very essential for the military. Uh, that uh, with the changing scenario, whether it is LOC or LAC or elsewhere, India must safeguard its border. And in that direction, this particular satellite, Earth Observation Satellite 9, we also call it Resat 1B. One was already there, which is now being uh, deorbited, and uh, this will be injected in the same place. So this will be there. Uh, it has got a multi. It will provide a multi-band uh, facility. This satellite itself has got the C-band synthetic Apache radar. And in conjunction with other satellites which are in place, the data from which will be collated also by this satellite, it will have a multi-band uh, you know, capability and multi-sensor capability. It will look at the Earth both with its lens as well as its radar. So, compliments to uh, Government of India 
uh, ISRO as well as the Ministry of Defense to have come up with this particular thought of collating all Earth observation satellites, uh, whether it is the uh, RISAT or CATOSAT or US, so that it can purposely and very accurately utilize those things for the military applications in the coming days, months, years, uh, maybe a decade or so. Shimran. Well, all right, Mr. Jha. Thank you very much for being with us on the broadcast and also detailing it for full context. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.